strings are amazing, right? They can literally be added to any song in any genre and they instantly inject an atmosphere that no other instrument can create. So, how do you write a lush string section? Easy, you just watch this video. But first, two. music makers. I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. This channel helps you make great music that stands out so you can get discovered. If that sounds useful to you, then subscribe and hit that bell to get notified every Saturday when we publish our new video. Alright, it's time to open your door to Hack Music Theory. The Theory. In Deadmau5's new track, Drama Free, featuring lights that just dropped yesterday, the party pumps for just over a minute before you're suddenly whisked away to a beautiful land of strings. This lush detour lasts about 40 seconds, then you're safely returned to the beat, perfectly highlighting how strings are totally at home in any genre. Mm -hmm. So to create lush strings like Deadmau5, you need to write a minor key chord progression, which includes the relative major key's root chord. Then add extensions for depth, anticipations for tension, and motifs for memorability. We'll show you how next. The hack. All right, now you're gonna learn how to use this theory to make your own version. And what you see on the screen right now is our version that we made earlier. Step one, chords. Set up eight bars of four four with your grid set to quarter notes and your tempo set to 92 BPM. Drama free is in the key of C sharp minor, so we'll use it too. Right, first things first, you need a chord progression. So choose a few chords from C sharp minor that you like the sound of and play each chord for one bar. And if you want to repeat chords or play one chord over two bars, that's all good. Just be sure to play the root chord C sharp minor in your first bar and the relative major keys root chord E major in your fifth bar. Now, once you've chosen your chords, draw in their root notes at the bottom. This will form the bass melody for your string section. And while we're on this topic, lush strings tend to be written in four parts, which create four melodic layers. So as you're writing your string section, pay attention to what each layer sounds like as a melody on its own. For example, this layer is the cello part, and you want to make sure your cellists have a beautiful melody to play so they're just as happy as your violinists are up top. Step two, extensions. While you're building up the remaining three parts on top of your bass melody, be sure to extend your chords beyond triads, like here, where we added a two to the B major triad, creating the extended chord B major add nine. Step three, anticipations. And anticipation is when you anticipate a note from the next chord by playing that note before the chord actually comes in. We've used a bunch of anticipations in the string section. For example, here we anticipate F sharp from the upcoming B major add nine chord. Anticipations are so easy, yet so effective in creating a brief and beautiful tension, which resolves as soon as the chord changes. Speaking of tension, Deadmau5 switches from natural minor to harmonic minor to create even more tension. So if you want to do the same, use B sharp somewhere like we did here. And yes, it's B sharp, not C. If you want to know why sometimes we use a different name for the same note, then read Hack 7 in our free book, which you can download at hackmusictheory.com. It only takes about 30 minutes to read and you'll gain a super solid foundation in scales, triads, relative keys, and much more. Step four, motifs. A motif is a short musical idea which you can reuse to give your music structure and make it more memorable. By now, your string section will already have a few motifs. You just need to go hunting for them. We found a good few motifs. For example, this descending line with anticipations, which we reused here. And those are those anticipations there. And this kind of quick semitone movement, which we reused right afterwards. All right, so now that you've sprinkled some strings magic into your musical recipe, let's have a listen to the transformation. And if you want a more in-depth lesson on writing chord progressions in four melodic layers, like we did in the string section, we've got a video on that coming next. Just click it when it pops up in a few seconds, and we'll meet you there. <laughs> 